it's actually a common misconception. People often think it's, it's actually quite um, easy and you're being assisted um, when you're actually running with dogs. It's fantastic for about the first 500 meters, uh, but then the dogs um, obviously get into a cadence and they just uh, run their own steady pace. So um, it's actually a big stress on the back um, as well. You're not actually ski oaring, which is usually like uh, what people envisage that um, if you're running with dogs, you're actually skiing and they're pulling you along. It's not assisted at all. It's actually quite cumbersome to, uh, uh, to be, you know, pulled along by the waist and actually running your own pace as well. So um, you try and sort of moderate between the dog's pace and your own pace. And, uh, and you know, but basically you sort of work, work it out after about the first 500 meter dash and uh, you sort of break into a, uh, a slow cadence. You know, the cold, the unpleasantness is, is all part of it. You know, it's fantastic. Look at it. It's just the scenery, the sunshine, is the sun out for 24 hours a day. What could be better? Vitamin D. I've got a rough time, but I think in these conditions, the, the time isn't what I'm going to be going for. It's just trying to be to survive and to listen to my body as much as possible. So if I'm sweating too much, I need to understand what I can do to stop myself sweating and try to stop things, basic things like my goggles misting over and being as comfortable as possible. That's my main game plan. I think we're on top of the world and, I mean, who comes here? Who does this? This is crazy and we're here. We're doing it. On cue as well. <laughs> That's blue as well. Have a dancing shoes on. Tough as it out there. It's tough, it's really tough. Stretch here is nice. Out there, the first cover K, deep snow, tough, tough, tough.
Okay, so we're three quarters of the way through the race for the leading male, and that's still uh, the, the Greek athlete. It's like marathon de sable but shorter and colder. Amazing guys. Well done. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> brilliant, great, great race. Absolutely brilliant. First Greek winner. First Greek winner. <laughs> oh. How does that feel? Almost uh, unbelievable. You know, I'm a Greek guy, so this is not the right place for me. It's like an Eskimo is coming to run a desert, a, a, a race in the, in the desert. Same feeling. It's not my environment. It was really difficult, but I'm so glad. It was really a big surprise for me. I could never expect that in North Pole I can be the winner. Ah. It was amazing and uh, today my mother has a birthday and I would like to say uh, I am not dead and I love you mom. Good job boys. Too kind. Well done. Yeah, mixed emotions as always. Just absolutely spent. Spent. We should have spent more time training. <laughs> as always in these things, but so delighted to be finished. Jesus,这个赛事是办得非常好,他不光是挑战就是极限,关键是还挑战了自我。我希望更多的人能够参加Rechata这个赛事,来真正体验北极点的魅力。Uh, to the nature, extreme uh, uh, condition, but uh, also a challenge to uh, the self. And uh, Richard's uh, events are great, and uh, she uh, hopes uh, more and more people uh, will uh, be uh, participants. Fantastic, great answer. Thank you very much. But was harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody says that. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'd be disappointed so. if they didn't. <laughs> okay. This venture here, Oliver, 61. Good job, well on. Oh, my God. Huh?